I'm so stoked for this talk, not only because, was anybody here in MVU uh, Croatia? Show of hands, yeah? Okay, this person's talk blew me out of the water and I know just how ridiculously impactful she is, so I'm so excited for her to come to the stage again, to another Mind Valley stage. For over 40 years now, she has been helping people awaken the power of their intuition. And when you look at her, that means she started when she was three years old, uh, which I think is really amazing. I wasn't doing anything nearly that impactful at three. Uh, she's written 27 best-selling books, including one of the ones I love, Walking Home. Has anybody read Walking Home? About uh, Sonia Chaquette's uh, journey on the Camino de Santiago, which I love so much, and I felt my feet bleeding as I was reading uh, this book, because it's just so beautiful, and there's such a visceral reaction. But the big thing I love about her is just her work around intuition. And I am so excited today for her to teach us how we can activate this innate uh, intelligence that we have, this superpower that is our intuition. So please give a huge AFES welcome to Sonia Chaquette. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Morning, everyone. So we have a huge transformation to accomplish in 30 minutes. So my question is, are you ready? I think we can all agree that we're feeling that at some level in our own bones, we are at a tipping point on this planet. And even the most numbed out of us can no longer ignore that. There, there, there's, that there is a, a point in time that we've all gathered that I would call a divine appointment, that we're all here to make a choice that will ripple out into the world collectively and start to change the direction of the way we are going personally, in our families, in our communities, and with our planet. So in order to do that, we have to recognize what got us into trouble in the first place isn't going to get us out of trouble, right? So I'm going to make a request. For the next 30 minutes, we're going to do something incredibly different. And my teachers also always taught me that you don't learn anything unless you're uncomfortable. So it's my intention to make you as miserable as I can for the next 30 minutes. And then after that, you can decide if you want to stay in this new energy or not. I don't want to tell you about intuition. You can read all about it. I've written 28 books. And it's all out there. What I'd like to do instead, and what I'd like to propose is that I give you the experience. Does that sound better? Okay, so the first thing you need to do is put away your notes. Because your notes, first of all... Let's face it, you're never going to read those notes, okay? So let's just put away those notes and be present. And even just feel what it feels like to put away your notes. And just feel that, that voice in you that's grumbling. I want to write my notes. Don't tell me what to do. Just feel that little voice in you. Because that voice that I'm asking to shut down is the is a part of you that's going to push back. It's a part of you that wants to control things. And frankly, it's a part of you that might be ruining your life. So the best thing about awakening your intuition is you get liberated from notes. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to feel your energy right now. And I want you to just check in with where you are. Just check in and I'm going to tell you what I observe, but I want you to also just be aware of what you observe, okay? So the thing that I am observing energetically is that most of you are holding your breath. And you can feel it. It's just a, it's just a little squeeze in. It's just a little contraction. Can you feel that? And most of us live in that contraction, and that contraction is fear. That contraction is the, the energy of your ego brain protecting you. And right now, there are two species of human on the planet, the five sensories and the six sensories. And the five sensories and six sensories are not at all the same. Now, the five sensories are the people who live with their five senses as their absolute arena of information. What I see, touch, sense, smell, taste is all there is. And I call them the flatliners. And the reason why is because these were the people that used to look out onto the horizon and say the earth is flat. 
And they're also the people that, that would argue when someone else came and said, you know what? I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit more. And they're like, you're a weirdo. You're a woo-woo. It's flat. And those people have predominantly controlled our consciousness. And it's time that we change. Five sensories live by the ego. And you know the ego by nature? You know that part of you that doesn't ever feel good enough? It's not. It's not good enough, and it'll never be good enough because it's not who you really are. So you can go around and around whipping it into shape and believing it's good enough, but it's your ego. It's not your true self. The ego by nature is very suspicious. It puts a whole period out there where the whole way it looks at life is me against you. And you scare me. So we push energetically away. And we, we don't really let people in. And we put a lot of energy into maneuvering appearances so that we feel a little safe, but we never feel fully safe. And we, we definitely have this contracted energy. So when, when you ask a five sensory or an ego oriented person who's really centered in that identity, how are you? They'll say, fine. And they look like howdy doody because they're contracted. They don't have any, any flex or flow because everything in them is not focused on you. It's focused on protecting me. I'm fine. You can see it in their eyes. There's a signature. There's no light in your eyes. When you're in your head, when you're in your five sensory space, there's no light in your eyes. The other thing, the other signature, your jaw is just a little tight. Kind of, mm. and the biggest signature is you have a really tight butt. Mm. I'm good. So what we're here to cure is what I call TBS, tight butt syndrome. And TBS, we got to bust out of that. And there is another part of you that is a sixth sensory, but that part of you, more than a sixth sensory, is who you really are. It is your spirit. And your spirit is always good enough. It's beyond. The spirit in you is always sexy enough, tall enough, happy enough, gorgeous enough, energetic enough, beautiful. And there is no me against you because there's only one spirit that we share. And that spirit doesn't ever look at the other. There is no other. There's just us. And we share that breath. And when we get into that identity, then we have access to the whole. Intuition is not another skill that you write down and remember. It's actually throwing away the book. It's actually throwing, well, 28 books, keep those. But it's, actually, it's throwing away the manual, and it's dropping in to who you really are. So I propose that I ex help you experience that, and then you decide if you would rather. How do you feel about that? Okay. So you know what? The first thing I need to say is that was about as enthusiastic and that's not going to change anything. Woohoo! And you know, that energy is your ego. It is a part of you that's like, I'm suspicious. What the hell? It's a part of you that's not willing to, to take a risk or, or be vulnerable or try something new. It's the part of you that wants to tight butt and keep you in control. So here's the deal. And this is the truth about energy. We are a collective frequency right now. And the truth is, we can only shift collectively to the degree of the person holding back. So I propose that we all just for the next, now 20 minutes, play full out, have the experience, and then decide. However, the person next to you could, in fact, trip you up. 
because we are energetic beings. So please turn to that person and say, I came a long way to be here. That better not be you. <laughs> okay. So the next thing is I want to just have you experience. I want to share something with you. Do you know why when I say, are you ready? And you go, woohoo. There's, you know, that is not a full out expression because your spirit is not in your body. And if your spirit is not in your body, you are in your head. And if you are in your head, you are in a bad neighborhood. It's very dangerous. And you miss everything because you're so busy protecting yourself. So we're going to get you in your body. And then you're going to experience what life and perception feels like when your spirit is the leader and not your head. Which, by the way, I call the barking dog. So your barking dog is your helper. You don't shoot the dog. You just train the dog to step aside and let your spirit take over. So first thing we have to do is everybody has to stand up. So I've already put your notes away and told you to stand up, so you're really annoyed. And the next thing I want you to do is I need three or four visual aids. Do I have any visual aids? Come. I need three or four. Three or four. Good, good, good. Come, come. Spread out. And they're going to teach you an exercise that will put your spirit in your body every morning. It takes three minutes and 40 seconds. And the way to do it is I want you to raise your hands above your head, open your jaw by here. Let me show you something. When you open your jaw, hear a click in your ear. Can you feel that click in your ear? It opens the throat chakra, the heart chakra, the high heart and the belly. So everybody go up. And then pull the arms down. Ha! Okay, that's your basic move, but that's not what's going to change things. What's going to change things is you're stuck in the bad neighborhood. That left brain logic brain gets really stuck, so we're going to unstick it. And the way to unstick it is every time you raise your hands, ha! You're going to use a move you've never used before. Ha! That confuses your brain. <laughs> it can't hold on. And you keep doing the first minute, it's like, hold on, shit. And then the second minute, it's like, what the hell, what the hell? And then the third minute, it starts to let go. And in the last 40 seconds, you drop into your spirit. Aha. So the key is to remember to use an, an, a move you've never done before. Because that stimulates the brain. First, the left brain starts talking to the right brain. They fight for a minute. Then they get together and start talking to the heart brain. Then they fight for a minute. Then they surrender. And then they start blending together. <sighs> Your spirit arrives. Now, I'm going to give you a little inspiration. I wrote a song for you. And it's called Love Your Life. And it's three minutes and 40 seconds. That is all it takes. Visual aids, you are going to remind them by your behavior, by your moves, what it's like to use a move you've never used before. Okay? So. Ready? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm ready. Okay. I need volume. Very disco. Oh, everybody wake up this day. Everybody wake up this day. Everybody dance now. Everybody laugh now. Sing your song. Sing your song. Take a
legs. Breathe. Ah. Feel the vibration. Breathe. Shh. Feel. Shh. Feel your spirit in your body. Ah. I know that seemed like an eternity. Three minutes and 40 seconds. Ah, aha, shh. And listen, ah, it's quiet, it's quiet. You just escaped the bad neighborhood. And now you're actually in a state to be intuitive. You have come out of hiding, you're present, you're here, and you're available. Ah. Ah. Breathe in, ah. and smile. It pulls the curtains of the heart open. Ah. And notice how everything has changed. For most of us, there's no them. Five sensory world, the ego world that we got into trouble makes this world them. And they can hurt me. So I'll just be unavailable or hurt them first. And that's where we got into trouble. But in this new frequency, you're in a new identity. So the key is really not about about becoming intuitive. It's allowing yourself to be that brilliant. It's allowing. Clairvoyance. What is clairvoyance? Sounds really wonderful, right? Clear view. But what that is, is you first have to take the stink eye off of yourself and others where you're looking through a filter that says you're this and you're that and you're this and that's that and it's all untrue. Look to the person next to you now and share a breath. And don't do this. Don't do a looming because that's weird. Okay, just do a real, ah, and see who you're with. See them, see their beauty. Clairvoyance is a clear view. It's a clear view. It's, it's basically, shh, and don't talk. Don't talk. Just be present for a moment. And you don't have to be looming weirdo present. That's, a, that's your, just your ego faking out, going, namaste. You know, that's not your intuition either. Your intuition is at ease. What it means is inner teacher. It means inner guide. You have one. Birds have radar. Bats have sonar. Whales come and go with their own energy. Butterflies, why not you? But it's not your ego. It is your spirit. So we have to learn to change the channel. So I call your ego the barking dog. My ego, my barking dog, is a poodle, obviously, right? (laughs) We tell the world who our barking dog is, and her name is Fifi. She's a bitch. Now, I don't kill Fifi, I don't shoot Fifi, I train her. 